How's it going people? For today's video we got some more Lego Fortnite and for this one I'm going to show you how to unlock the four new dock houses and then towards the end of the video I'm going to explain how you can catch every single fish. But before we get into it there are a few things I wanted to go over first. The villager cap has been increased from 15 to 20. Speaking of villagers, apparently you can fish villagers out of the water using the new fishing rods. As you can see in this clip, one of my friends was able to pull Blackheart out of a Frostlands lake. For those who don't know, Blackheart's one of the hardest villagers to find in LEGO Fortnite. And technically, I believe you're supposed to find them in the shore biome, but we were able to get them in Frostlands by using an epic bait bucket as well as an epic fishing rod. So not only can you get fish by fishing but you can also get villagers including some of the rarest villagers even ones that don't belong in that bio apparently you can also catch llamas with your fishing rod so those are a couple of things you can get other than fish and there may be other things you can get as well if you was able to get anything weird let us know in the comments below oh shit here's bob one of our new villagers so yeah that's what one of the new villagers look like name's bob I haven't seen the other two yet, but I believe this is what Outcast looks like, and this is what Turk is going to look like, I believe. And those are the three new villagers we got this week. Also, Skelly Boys can drop Bright Core now, apparently. A couple other things I want to point out when it comes to the new fishing rod is, as of right now, you can't put essences on it. You also can't use it to fish in lava. Uh, there was a total of five new food items. You can find four of them at the grill. One is called black and blue shellfish sushi. You also have simple sushi, smoked fry fish, as well as the spicy fish sandwich. And you can also eat the fish fillets that you make from the food processor. So I guess first we'll eat the fish fillet and see how much health we get. So yeah, we only got one heart from it and also three of the little green hunger bars filled up. So this hardly heals you at all. Instead of eating it, you may want to put it back into the food processor. That's how you get your bait buckets. And if you want to increase the rarity of your bait bucket, just go to the juicer. So yeah, fish fillet is not really good when it comes to healing you. You don't necessarily need a bait bucket in order to get a fishing spot. Sometimes fishing spots will spawn naturally. I've seen green ones spawn, blue ones, as well as purple ones. So if you don't want to make any bait buckets, just keep an eye out for the fishing spots that spawn naturally. Um, next up, we're going to take a look at the black and blue shellfish sushi. That was really hard to say. Shellfish sushi. Shellfish sushi shellfish sushi damn and oh we're about to die let's go ahead and eat it now okay so we got like a little over four hearts maybe close to five hearts from that it made our hunger meter go up by five slots so that's what the shellfish sushi does next up we're going to try the simple sushi and that gave us about three hearts almost and it also increased our hunger meter by about five slots I think next up we have the smoked fry fish so we got four hearts that aren't filled at the moment so that gave us about three hearts and it filled up eight hunger bars and when it comes to the spicy fish sandwich that heals us reduces hunger and it'll also keep you warm so as you can tell right now we are cold we have nine hearts that aren't filled right now let's go ahead and eat it see what happens there all right, so it warmed us up. It almost fully healed us. We got at least nine hearts from it, and it's gonna keep us warm for a total of four minutes. So you can also use the spicy fish sandwich, as well as spicy peppers and spicy burgers to keep you warm in the Frostlands cave. We also got four new buildings, which are part of the fishing docks building set. One's called the simple dock. We also got a dock house, a double dock house, and a deluxe dock house. So as you can tell right now, we currently don't have any of the new buildings unlocked the way you unlock them is by starting a new village i don't believe the biome matters i decided to build a new one in the shore biome so that's where i unlocked it but i don't believe the biome matters i think all you really need to do is just start a new village and get it to rank four it actually doesn't require a whole lot to get a new village to rank four i was able to do it within about five minutes all you'll really need is wood granite and some planks and you'll also need some knot root and that's pretty much it so here's everything we needed to get our village to rank two here's everything we needed to get it to rank three i think we also had to place down 
a couple of grills to increase our village rating as well. But yeah, once you get your new village to rank three, it'll unlock the dock house and the simple dock. And we also got some building pieces at village rank three. So when it comes to the building pieces, we got this shack corner, that's new. We also got this shack arch 01, and we also got this shack arch 02. And we also got a shack pillar 02, which you can see here. And I believe these arches and pillars are supposed to be used to hold your docks up above water. So you may want to build these below your docks. Anyways, like I said, we also unlocked the simple dock as well as the dock house. So I'm going to go ahead and build those and show what those look like. Here's what the simple dock looks like. And next up, we have the dock house. And here's what the dock house looks like when it's finished. It's pretty much just a simple shack attached to a dock for the most part but yeah you'll unlock both of those buildings and those pieces after you get your village to rank three here's everything you'll need to get your village rating to rank four once we got it to rank four we unlocked this shack thin floor piece shack thin floor 02 and that's the only piece we unlocked when we got to village rating four but we also unlocked these two dock houses so first we have the double dock house here's everything required to build it and here's what it looks like when it's fully built. And this one's pretty much just a double shack attached to a dock instead of a small shack. So you got a little bit more room on this one. And the last one's called Deluxe Dock House. And here's everything you'll need in order to build it. And here's what it looks like when it's completely finished. This one has the most room out of all of the dock houses. Instead of just having one dock, we actually have two docks, one on each side. So yeah, that's what the new dock houses look like as well as the new building pieces, and that's how you unlock all of them. I just start a new village and get it to rank four. And the last thing I wanna do before I go is explain how to get each fish, because certain fish can only be found in certain places. So we got a total of 15 fish with this update, and not only did we get those 15 fish, but there's also a legendary version of each of those fish. The only way you can get legendary fish it's by using an epic fishing rod in a purple fishing spot or an epic fishing spot. Those purple fishing spots can spawn in naturally without the use of bait buckets. You can also create your own purple fishing spot by putting fish in the food processor, taking that fish fillet and putting that in the food processor. That'll give you a bait bucket and you put that into the juicer with slap juice and a spicy burger, and you can get an epic bait bucket that way. So yeah, use an epic fishing rod with an epic fishing spot, and you'll get a small chance to get legendary fish. Once you get a legendary fish, you wanna hold on to it, because according to the patch notes, apparently they're gonna have a special use in the future. What that is, we don't know. If I had to take a guess, maybe they'll allow us to mount it on our walls or something like that, or maybe it can be used as a resource to craft legendary items. So if you do catch legendary fish, make sure you hold on to them. A couple other things I should point out really quickly. A lot of fish can spawn in multiple areas. I'm just gonna be showing where I was able to find the fish. And even if you don't find the fish in that area that I show, then just move a little bit further down shore, stay in the same area, and try again. Because I notice sometimes you'll get different fish if you move slightly down the shore a little bit. Anyway, starting off with the orange flopper, I believe you'll be able to find this one almost anywhere. I was able to find it in the dry valley during the day. I was also able to find it in the grasslands at night, as well as in the grassland cave pond. Also found it in the Frostland Lake at night, as well as in the shore at night. So I found this in every biome. This is probably the fish you're gonna see the most. For the blue flopper, I only found that in the shore during the day and in the shore during the night. And I'm mentioning the time of day because that can also affect which fish you'll be able to catch. For the green flopper, I found that in the dry valley during the day, in the grassland lakes at night, and in the frostland lakes at night. For the vendetta flopper, I was only able to find this one in the grassland cave ponds. So you'll have to go into the grassland caves, look for a pond, and you should be able to get the vendetta flopper from there. I used an epic bait bucket to get this vendetta. Not sure if you can get him with the lower rarity ones. So keep that in mind when you're going fishing. The rarity of the fish you catch sort of depends on the rarity of your bait bucket as well as your fishing rod. For the black and blue shield fish, I found that in the shore biome during the day and night. Also found it in the frostland biome at night and I found it in the dry valley biome during the night. 
For the purple thermal fish, I found that in the shore biome during the daytime. For the raven thermal fish, I found that in the shore biome during the nighttime. For the silver thermal fish, I found that in the frostlands biome at night. For the blue slurp fish, I found that in the grasslands biome during the day and the night. And I also found it in the grasslands cave pond. And I also found the blue slurp fish in the shore biome at night. For the purple slurp fish, I found that in the frostlands biome during the day and night. For the yellow slurp fish, I found that in the shore biome during the day. I found the blue small fry in the dry valley biome during the day and night and I also found it in the frostlands biome at night. I could only find the cuddle jellyfish in the shore biome during the day. For the slurp jellyfish I found that one in the shore biome during the day and night. And for the molten spicy fish I found that in the dry valley biome during the day and nighttime. So that's how you can find each of the fish. Again some of those may be available in other biomes but that's how I was able to find all of them. I also found this chart on Reddit. Not entirely sure how accurate this is, but it does line up with everything that I found. And I'll leave a link to this image in the description if you want to go check it out. And that sums up all the tips I have in regards to this new fishing update. If there's any tips I didn't mention, be sure to let us know in the comments below. Also, if y'all found this video useful, like at all, be sure to drop a like. And I also wanted to give a big thank you to everybody who's been using Creator Code A1. Anyways, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And thanks for watching.